that time again. Got to check out what's going on and see how the world's taking care of itself. You know, it's a regularly scheduled reality check. And, you know, you got to do that every once in a while. Take a, take a good look at where things are and how things are progressing. And, you know, check the layout. See, you know, what's really taking place. And, well, that's what I'm doing today. It's time for that. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of activity, but not much is happening. It's just, you know, just like, like reality. It just is there. And how you interact with it, what you do with it is kind of, uh, God only knows. I mean, you know, maybe that's our purpose. It kind of leaves me in the dark sometimes. And other times it leaves me just wondering, you know, I find this perfect little spot that's just ideal, and I sit and wonder what it is reality. Existence. Who cares anyway? Trapped in our spaces, armed with only a quantum pea shooter, we try to change reality. How challenging or absurd. Excuse me, I have a ship to catch. We exist, or at least appear to exist to each other. We can identify bodies that are associated with certain personalities and we can communicate with them using the bodies. However, we're not the bodies, not even the words. Our parents were the animators, placing motivations to intercept feelings, programming the body and brain. We interpret the filtered information, select a motivator, and proceed. That is life. We've got to do something. Don't just stand there gawking, looking like you've seen a ghost. Get the cross before it crumbles. What does religion provide? A framework for spirituality, a living faith. Do we resist change to preserve the past? Do we become our beliefs? Is thinking a disease that might be treated? A thread of knowing, of being, entangled with our DNA gives rise to the thoughts of self and perhaps the hardest question of all, who are you? Looking, every moment looking for a lost moment. Seems all I do is look and look for a time, a moment when everything was found. And all I had to find was myself. <sighs> Not that finding myself was easy. No, it's just that looking for a lost moment can be such a thankless effort. But who else cares about everything like I do anyway? It's, it's just that life seems to be so involved with itself that it can't see that it is. Are we some type of giant machine? computing the shape and form of reality, looking for the setting, the solution, for a problem no one knows, but everyone wants to solve. Perhaps we're stuck in an infinite loop, 
circling round and round forever, looking for a lost moment when we knew everything. Hey, I see you all got the calling. Thanks for coming. I'm curious, didn't you read the invitation? It clearly stated to dress for the occasion. So I'm afraid I'll have to leave most of you here. Until the next time we have a new God party. Human consciousness has a well-known place where God and salvation happen. The criteria and rules interpreted centuries ago from sightings, visions, and animal bones is reality of many levels where greater gods look down on creation below, selecting the chosen to elevate with grace. Is reality a conscious moment in which humanness is observed? Perhaps reality is a playground, and we are not the only ones here. Well, this is it. This is the place where nothing happens over and over again. Isn't that just grand? When there's enough nothing around, you can actually see individual thoughts. They are a lot dimmer than the quantum effects that translate the physical into ideas and back again. It's just grand when you have a lot of nothing. There is a machine I use to perceive reality. I call it an interface. It converts or transforms the information my body receives into quantum signals my mind can interpret. A most magical machine with variable resolution settings. Am I the machine or just a setting? Hey, how's it going? It's a great day for skin picking. I hope you have a great day too. Take care. Bye. Normally, I enjoy the pickers, but today I've had enough and I'm leaving. everything. All we are, we perceive, filtered and drawn from the many neurological connections in our brains. We look at our models and determine which one most closely matches. The result is what we perceive. The model, not the original. How can I know how it feels to be you? Me, 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 me. Hey, nice to see you again. We spend a lot of time together. It's good we get along. We, we are, are the, the Trinity, Trinity of Being. Me, me, myself, and I. Solid support for the fantastic, incredible performance called Man. It always ends with me. The last word and thought playing over and over in my head. One part material, one part electrical, one part neither. Held together in some type of sacred union by thoughts and ponderings. The greatest of all conversions, me into I, and you for myself. Can we go now? This is just a spectacle. Is it over yet? How long before we're done? We made contact. Isn't that enough? Joining together a team with the goal to accomplish like all the organs in the body and all the cells and molecules and atoms. All teams acting, working together. It's a fractal universe filled with self-similar structures. 
Using arcane methods, we push air past pieces of meat, causing vibrations, then modified by the mouth and throat and tongue to represent our thoughts. We listen and decode the vibrations through a complex filtering memory system. The electrical state we perceive is the most likely interpretation, not the actual data. Well, thank you for stopping by, taking a look. You know, life's not too bad. There's plenty of green things around to look at, and you know, these uh, headless bodies, well, they're really helpful, you know, they give me a lift during the day and keep me off the ground. And you know, just generally, it's pretty good here, and I think you'd like it if you wanted to come visit again, so uh, have a great time. As we move through space and time, twisting and transforming reality, as we go someplace long ago, a small disturbance sent out ripples, like a pebble dropped onto still water. Somewhere on the shores of human consciousness, those ripples are washing away the many castles of sand built long ago. Are we bound to repeat our ideas, taking another day from time for the trouble, working through the details without knowing why? How do we spend our time? The destination clear in our sights. We wonder. Taking one last look. When the lights go out, will we still know who we are? Will we still know each other? Or will it take another tomorrow before we're finished with our play? And head homeward bound once again. Reality checks are important and should be regularly scheduled. It's important to know what dream you're living whose reality you're living in, and perhaps what you are, or who you are. Maybe the question should be, if you are, because something or somebody is being you.